Hi, this is um, a caddis that we'll be tying this morning, a little caddis pupa that I've found on um, what used to be Mitch Man's old blog, and um, I think he called it the Colorado caddis. Um, just kind of a generic little uh, caddis pupa, really good looking pattern. Um, so what I'm going to do here is just tie it. Started off with a scud hook, um, brass bead, black colored though. Um, you can use tungsten bead on this, it's fine. Uh, a little bit of silver colored um, widow's web. Widow's web is made by Montana Fly Company. You can use um, Antron, that works just as well. All I did was tie in um, a good bunch of fibers in there. Um, that's going to be pulled over as a veil or so. Um, next step is your dubbing. Um, this one I'm using a uh, ice dub. You can use any green or amber colored, uh, cream colored dubbing if you'd like. Um, just going to wrap that down to about, what I did was I put the um, the shuck material all the way down, about halfway down the, the bend of that scud hook. Um, any scud hook will work just fine. You just want to get a layer on there. okay? And then what I'm going to do is, I'd been tying these this morning, so I got a couple stray fibers, but pull that over and then just push it back just a little bit, okay? Just want a little bit of a pocket in there. And what I like to do is just kind of roll it down just a little bit, so it kind of uh, covers that a little bit better, about halfway, 180 degrees or so. Come in here, clip that, tie those butts down. And then what I like to do, you don't have to do it, is I like to grab a couple um, fibers of pheasant tail um, for the antenna. Um, you can tie without, although I think that um, putting these in really kind of gives it a, a really good, uh, neat look. Um, it certainly doesn't hurt the pattern. Back up here. Tie one in at, at a time. And they do have a curve to it, so you got to figure out what that curve is. Tie them in. One by one. You can tie them in a, a together, but it's, I think it's a little bit harder to get that curve pointing outwards as you can see right there just just shooting out tie those in clip cover and then um, the next step what we're going to do is get a soft hackle and what I'm using just a hen hackle uh, neck um, you can see the, the feather I tied in uh, it's just going to be a soft hackle type pattern um, so tie that in I'm going to make about two maybe three wraps just to get get it uh, Showing some legs and showing some, uh, um, making a nice collar right behind those um, antenna that you put in there. So get one, two, two and a half or so. Wrap that down. It doesn't have to be right on top of each other. It can be kind of, um, you can wrap it with open wraps. Um, you can see there's a little bit of space in there, um, right here, somewhere where I'm, sh I'm not wrapping it close like you would like a dry fly hackle. Um, what I'm going to do next is just push that bead back, and then I can make a wrap with my thread right behind that bead. Use that bead as kind of a gauge to push everything back. Okay. So what that does is it forms, um, it pushes it back, lays it back a little bit more. And then here, what we're going to do is we're going to use, um, for the uh, kind of the collar or the head, I guess you could say, we're just going to use a little bit of peacock. Um, you can use a dubbing, and that certainly works well. But again, this with this uh, with this head, or the bead being dark, you know, you can put in a uh, little bit of peacock, and it really looks nice. So come in here. Let me redo this. Swipe those back push that back, put a couple turns in there, put a couple extra turns right behind that bead because there's going to be that space behind it that you gotta, you're going to have to fill. Okay, another wrap to secure it, another one to secure it, and you should be good at that point. Clip, and then just fill that uh, space behind that, that bead right there. Uh, Right behind it, you'll have a little bit of space where you got to put a few thread wraps. Clip. Okay. Just 
little uh, little caddis pupa, real buggy. You can put a tungsten bead on it. Um, you can um, to get it down a little bit, a little bit deeper. But it's real buggy with that soft hackle. Um, you don't want to use that feather, a feather that's too big. But again, too big, too small. You want to just make sure that it uh, acts as legs, wing wing buds as it's um, as it's emerging. Great little caddis pattern. You can change the colors, being a cream or um, olive shade just like this one is.